Good afternoon, everybody over there in YouTube land. Welcome to another Wednesday at Tath and Yoko. My name is Terry. I'd like to welcome you into the warehouse here at Tath and Yoko and tell you guys what's up. But first of all, like we always do, I'm going to start off with the customary fit check. See what I'm wearing. I want to start off here with my fit check first. So before we get started, I'm going to start from bottom to top today. We're going to start with the foundations. From the bottom over here, I have my Jim Green African Rangers. They are providing support for my feet, which hold up my beautiful Elephant 11S. I've been wearing these guys every day, just trying to get those fades going. I want to build that foundation. Of course, these jeans are held onto my lovely hips by my lovely Veg Tan belt. Can't go anywhere about this. Hiding my torso, the circling knit tee and navy, and my favorite work shirt in this classic yellow flannel. So thank you very much. That's me over here. I'm gonna go straight over here to Vinny. I know Vinny's got a special treat he wants to share with us today. How's it going, y'all? It's your boy, Krillin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> today we got the Navy Circular Knit tee on. Go, 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 go. And we got the black thick belt, as well as the strong, not the strong guy, the true guy, sized up by two uh solid blacks with the tims and not to mention my not my new not so new corbin wallet well let's let's get that in focus yeah, to kind of kind of really really, really let's get that in focus over here they're just a bit over there can't quite see but yes corbin wallet excellent job Corbin's there Vinny. You know what I'm saying? thank you they he's too good for the veg tan here of us but that is also true we have excellent excellent yeah. other i mean other the only other person that has it is brandon <laughs> that's true <laughs> All right, who's next? I'll go next. Do it in the chair. How's there, how is everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving, uh, good Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, today I am wearing my Ichiban Salvage, 13.75 ounce Japanese denim. I have my Asics, my warehouse shoes on, black circular knit. Always, and I have my Whistler Black Comb cat. My Whistler Black Comb. Yo, Whistler. Cat. Yeah, it's sick actually. Represent. Yo, BC, that's where I'm from. Exactly. Uh, I have my uh, Bulova Oceanographer. Um, it's from the 70s. It's got a date complication and trit loom. If you know, you know. And of course, Nobles. I got my belt key holder. Veg tan leather, black. I see someone has been practicing. It's amazing. Well, it's not. It gets. There we go. Sorry. It's not that hard. You know, it comes off. It's very easy, it's very functional, very practical. Get it, they're great. <laughs> all right, all right, who we got next, who we got next? <laughs> What's up guys, Vincent here. Um, same same old man, same old. Black circular knit t-shirt, seven millimeter thick round belt, an actual good keychain. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Saw the black salvage, groovy guys. I know I said I was supposed to get some loafers. I did, and they were worn, so I returned them. Uh, and also, just the Sneeze Magazine beanie. That's it, that's all. Where are the glasses from? The glasses? They're from Montreal. They're from Montreal. <laughs> I bought them here. Where are they made? Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It is here today. I'm not gonna say it. Oh, maybe I'm gonna say it. Coolest guy in the store, always. <laughs> No, he's just jealous. Okay, today I'm wearing the left and tool, um, left and tool strong guy jeans. Pretty cool, like always. They come the garçon shoes, sneakers, like always. And the uh, 38 millimeter uh, leather um, belt. Also the, um, how's it going? Bobby? <laughs> yeah, the Dobby canvas uh, chalk coat, of course, like always. Yeah, yeah. those paints coming in too. Oh yeah, yeah, we go. Oh yeah, the fades. Look good. What? Look at those fades coming in. Look at Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going pretty fast. Pretty cool. Very Let's nice, see. very nice. Yo, Uncle T. Okay, great. So that's everyone got the cool fits shared out, everyone. So I just want to say, what have we been up to? Well, this is what we've been up to. Uh we're just getting off a long weekend up here in Canada. We had a long Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. We had a sale, plus we had the last of the JoJo's going out there. So we have jeans like walking out the door here, working as hard as we can to get as many of these jeans out to you guys as quick as we can. I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about what the boys here in the warehouse have been up to. Uh, I myself had a fantastic weekend. 
I have some family. I did a little bit of hot pot on one day and I did a little bit of a duck and a lovely country walk on another day. So did anyone else on the team have a cool Thanksgiving uh, weekend things? I did. It was my dad's birthday and um, we drank an obscene amount of whiskey. We didn't get drunk. <laughs> we just opened a lot of bottles and tasted them. So now you have to drink them all. <laughs> exactly. I, I do. I subsequently had to drink them all with my friends and family. Yeah, like me, man. You know, yeah. we're just co-workers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh I'm just kidding. That one hurts. But, um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we had like an 80-person Thanksgiving party, drank a lot of whiskey. Honestly, 10 on 10 would recommend. Nice. Yeah. Yo, personally, I was in the store. Uh, thank, you really thank you Yeah. <laughs> thank you for it being was the like coolest a guy in the store. Day. Like, I was like, it was depressing, man. <laughs> I was in the store, but... I had like some pretty cool uh, customers in the store. We sp spoke a little bit. Some Kelly French folk came in the store. They tried some new jeans on. The other thing, 12, that was pretty cool. I gave them advice, stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. Cool day, too. Yeah. A big thank you to Kelly for working uh, on Kelly. Monday, which was a holiday over here. So thank you very much, Kelly. Take one to the team. Oh, guys. <laughs> sure all it was a bow. Always. Yeah, it was a bow. What? You got a bow for us. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do it for all of Christmas now, too. Uh, no, I'm sharing that with Justin. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Justin Kuti. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, and you, though, too. Yeah, you're working yeah. at Christmas, too, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Oh, Maybe yeah. I am. Yeah. <laughs> we share the duty here, you know. Yeah, we yeah. do share the duty. Uh, that's kind of how it is over here at Tatin York. We have everybody definitely doing a little bit of everything. So if you call us or send us an email, you're usually just going to be uh, maybe Vincent or Justin answering, but sometimes it might be me. Sometimes it might be Kelly. So you never know who we're going to get. We always do our best to share the load. And on that note, I just want to say a quick little, uh, just a little PSA here. Thank you very much for everyone's fantastic orders during the weekend. However, as you can see, we're a little bit logged up here. So if you have a hemming order, if you're waiting on an order, uh, just be patient. We have your orders. We are shipping them out as fast as we can. We have everyone on the clock, on the job, pushing orders out there, but just be a little bit patient with us. It's gonna take a little bit longer than normal to get these orders out the door. And we thank you again for your patience. We also take bribes if you guys want your orders faster. <laughs> No, we do not. No, we do not. We do not take bribes. We don't take any bribes. There's nothing you can do. Everyone by piece. It's always, always first come, first serve. Uh, but we do appreciate funny comments. So if you do write a funny comment or a special word of the day in your comment, uh, you may get a special treatment. You may get a little something. You may just get a little kiss on the order from one of us. So speaking of this week, I have another thing to talk about. I want to talk about today's release, which is actually Friday's release. We have two things coming out. We'll talk about the first one over here is we have the new lovely kimono salvage coming out here. All right, so this is a, a brand new jean coming out here for this Friday. When you come over here, Vinny, walk around, we get this, get this in the, uh, the sunlight over here. So this jean is a lovely everyday indigo, 100% cotton, nice middleweight, not too intimidating, easy wearing jean with a lovely hidden surprise. And that surprise is a magical, printed triple pattern kimono weft. I'll try and get this all over here. So if you look here on this lovely weft here, we have three different geometric traditional Japanese designs here. So as you're flipping it over, you can always see a little bit of everything. We here we have these nice little ridges, stars, a little circle holding another star. Um, these all have names as far as I know. I don't know the names are, but they do have a root in classical Japanese culture. This is a fantastic gene if you just want to have like a nice cuff flipper, that's not too intimidating. So we really like this one to say a nice gene. You will be seeing it this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern. It's going to launch right then. It'll be ready, but we also have something else coming. We have a really, really super duper mega special release just about to come out. We have one of our team members going to help show us off here. So let's take a look. Let's, let's take a look. Let's come over here. This one's been a long time coming. We've teased this a few times. Yeah, this thing is a... Let's get right into this. The Sakiori kimono shirt. Ooh. This thing is awesome. nuts. It's insane. Like. To have it here in front of me is like it's an honor. <laughs> this is something the you would wear. The texture is like, crazy. Like awesome. Kelly said, the texture is insane. Like if you 
let's get like nice and close. You have to understand how this thing is woven. I wish you could. Uh, this is something you wear to like the Met Gala. Yes, this is Met Gala kimono shit right here. And it's painstakingly woven. This thing takes so unbelievably long to actually manufacture uh, the fabric itself. And that's just the fabric. We had one of our team members here, our technical designer here. He handcrafted every single one here in the building over the course of, was it two weeks almost? It took at least two weeks working nonstop. Nonstop. Morning. Blue tonight. indigo, blue indigo hands after, indigo dyed hands after. Every day working, look at this salvage ID. And this thing is beautiful, it really is. It's quite, it's a, genuinely a work of art. It's incredible. Um, and it's heavy too, it's nice and heavy. And we're gonna give it a try, we'll give it a shot real quick. All right, let's go for it, Jasmine. It's on. lovely though, it's lovely, it really is. It feels like nothing else. Like I've never tried on, I've never really quite worn anything that feels anything quite like this. And it's very comfortable, it's nice and warm. It's a bit chilly in the warehouse today. Um, and I only got my t-shirt on, but now I feel nice and warm with my Sakiori kimono shirt. And it's awesome, like look at this thing. It's like the shape and the silhouette this thing holds is unmatched. Nice boxy silhouette, it's super comfortable, it's very comfortable. Um, but it is a little bit delicate, it's a little bit delicate, you have to be careful with it. Yeah. Just because the way it's woven, the way it's manufactured, um, it can be a little bit tricky to wear sometimes, but it's a great, it's a great, fantastic kimono shirt. Uh, personally, we think it'd be really good with something else, a little bit also kind of boxy, also kind of straight because of the shape it holds. It isn't quite as drapey, it's a bit more structured, has a bit more rigidity to it, kind of like a heavier weight denim. So we think it would go really well with a straight fit denim. It would look really good with some true guys, it would look good with some strong guys. Um, why yeah, that's what we wearing, think. What was that? You wearing the? I'm wearing the strong guys the strong today. I'm wearing stuff. them pretty. Good. I'm wearing them pretty ham today. I decided to hem them a little bit for some, you know, some different kinds of footwear. I'm not wearing anything special today. It's my warehouse shoes, as I mentioned in my fit check. But um, yeah, I think they. I think personally, I think my colleagues will agree with me. They go well with anything that's a bit straight, a bit more rigid. Kind of holds that shape. Its structure holds its, you know, keeps a uh, keeps the shape a bit more. Kind of like. Uh, some rigid straight fit jeans. So that's what we think these would look great with. Mm -hmm. um, but as as I said before, this like let's get another close yeah, up here. This thing is this now. thing is insane. This thing is incredible. Like you have to, the only, it's really different. You have to see it in person to truly understand how this like what the what the whole, the whole thing is like what it really. Absolutely, it's, thick. it's yeah. insane. Let's get one more look at the inside and then like the salvage yeah, you can see the construction salvage details. Line. Look at that salvage ID. Yeah. Red line salvage ID. Meant. Again, like what Justin said, we had a team member of this. Each one of these shirts was made by one person in the factory right here in Montreal. So basically it's one person, one shirt, you know, piece by piece. And it took a lot of time. It's a very, very yeah. fragile, but also a very amazing fabric to work with. Anyone who gets one of these, you know, there's not going to be a lot of these out there. Um, maybe really, yeah, really very few, really very few going out there. So if you want one, grab one, they won't be cheap, but they'll be worth every single penny. So this is just like a real, I guess there's like a real showpiece for someone who's just absolutely loves fun textiles. So check this out. Like the kimono jeans, it'll be launching this Friday at Tathan Yoko at 11 a.m. Eastern. So that's the new surprises that we have coming for you this week. And let me check the schedule. What do we have left here? I think it's time for hot take. Hot take. Do you have a hot take over here? Yeah. I think we have an extra spicy take today. We have, we have a lot of uh, great feedback from the last hot take. Vincent here over at Trudas Words. He's sticking with the black denim. I'm sticking with my blue denim, the correct denim, the way you know, God's okay. intended Ooh. denim. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really it's right the right way to do it. You know, the right way to do it. However, you know, it gets people talking, gets people moving. We've seen a couple of your comments down there in YouTube. We've all read them and we're going to come back and fire off another spicy hot take. This time, this one came straight from Justin. Uh, this was his idea, but I think it's a great one there. Justin does stand by. He's struggling a little bit with the bag here. <laughs> it's tricky, you know, I want to be careful with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You don't want to, you know. I do have one hot take in the meantime. Okay, a mini hot take. All right. Tin fish is better than fresh fish. Don't talk to me otherwise. That's tin, all. Tin fish better than fresh Hell fish? Hell yeah. I want it oily, I want it brined. That's all I'm gonna say. Tin fish is nice. Like, like canned tuna. But a Sorry. good fresh yeah. fish may be better than any can of tin fish, even if you are going to a really nice tapas place mm -hmm. out down there in Spain, well, hanging you. out in Madrid. I know they have restaurants dedicated just to special tin foods. It is a delicacy, but 
yeah. a mackerel is still oily if you get it fresh or if it's in a tin. So that's interesting. Tins I've had both. Than- and mackerel in the tin. Can't confirm it's better. I love me my uh, my Rio Mare tuna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. What he said. All right, it looks like I might be the min- minority there. How about you? Tin fish versus fresh fish, no? Uh, I don't know. I don't eat that fish, so I'm <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> that's just a little bit of a culinary. We also have a denim hot take over here. So let's get Justin over here to drop this spicy opinion on us. So today's hot take is which is better? Well, I not which is better. I'm going to tell you which is better. <laughs> <laughs> Lightweight denim is better. Cold, hard, bars. cold, hard take. Cold, oh. hard, mm. hot take. Cold, yeah. hard, hot take. So, I mean, when you look at denim, uh, hard, de- hard denim, heavy denim is sick. Heavy denim is great. Um, but realistically, is it the best option? No. Uh, <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It's depending on where you live, depending on the weather. It's hot. It's you're going to be sweaty. Um, they're going to be longer to break in. They're not going to be as comfortable sooner. They might not ever be as comfortable. Um, and you know, they're just, it's not worth it. Who wants that? No one wants that kind of, no one wants that kind of noise. The heaviest I would go is like 14 ounces. I've, anything above that is crazy. I don't know how Garrett does it. Garrett's got his 32 ounces. Insane. It's madness. Mind over matter. Oh, nonsense. Oh, yeah. I just want to say one thing. Justin does own a pair of Emperor Grand. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> he does own a pair. Oh. If... Oh. <laughs> They're made in Japan. Look, you have to. I'll, I'll allow it. I do. Allow, I do. I do. Yeah. Truthfully, I do own a pair of Emperor Slugs. Um, they are 23 ounces. Um, and they are in weird guy. <laughs> I've never seen them wear them though. I've never, they haven't been worn yet. I'm still trying to figure out how to wear them if I want to cut, if I want to hem them or not. Um, So I'm taking my time to figure out what I want. But yes, I do own them. And that's not the kind of thing I would wear every day. You know, it's one of those things I would wear uh, on occasion if I'm wearing something very nice. But I'll be be wearing them and I'll be loving them very, very much. Um, But if you're gonna wear something every day, if you want to be crazy and you want to be like Terry and you want to wear your Elephant Elevens stretches, the stretch is different though. It helps a little it bit, but Elephant awesome. Eleven by itself is like nuts. A lot of people, a lot of you guys bought Elephant Elephant Elevens. A lot of you bought Elephant Twelves. Mad people, you guys are crazy. Um, but no, all denim is good denim, but lightweight denim it's is better. better. <laughs> There All right, go. thank you very much, Justin, for that spicy, hot, cold, hard take. Uh, that's great. You know, you know where my loyalty is like. I like my heavyweights, but you know, I think I'm all about maximizing that slider all the way to one side just to really get the most out of a gnarly cool fabric. But you know, some people like comfortable trousers. I You're, out you. You're out there. <laughs> I agree with you. You're out there. You're out there. A quick word from Vince over here before. Yeah. I go. So we've been getting a lot of emails. <clears throat> asking about um, do we have longer inseam lengths than 34 and all this Justin Kelly if you can come beside me quick to stand here uh, even Terry you and even me I am six foot three Kelly's like yeah. six two six three Terry six I'm one six two, I'm six, Justin's six, like, two. six two you can see it right here Justin's six taller two. than me we hem our jeans still this is a 33 this all is right, what's this this is, no, this is a, these jeans. are just a bit over 30 i believe i don't just I a bit over 30 yes. just, kelly doesn't hem his jeans and i don't hem my, yeah. my jeans you can and see I that even wear them lower than expected i'm even like wearing mine a bit low actually I can, yeah, if i same. want to wear mine properly where it's supposed to be they are really short i'm wearing mine correctly so all that to be said i you mean unless mean, you're like six foot ten really 36 inches isn't benefiting anyone um, like we have, you know, these tall guys and we're still hemming them or we're cuffing them. Like my groovy guys are cuffed. I wear them at the correct, like just all that to say, it's like for all you guys that are super, super tall, try the 34, 34 inseam. It should fit. It's yeah. a lot. It's a long yeah. inseam. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, it should my, work. My groovy guys are 33.5 and they are like almost on the ground. Exactly. Yeah. Like if, unless you're like triple cuffing, even with a double cuff, like the size of my thumb here. You know, it, my my pants usually still rest over my jeans. So um, yeah, just explore Plus the, the thing is inch. that the thing is that all of all of our jeans are like high rise. So if it's high rise, you don't need like a big inseam, your long inseam. You know, like the true guy fit is like high rise. So if you wear them correctly, 
if it's the jeans are like 34 inches uh for the inseam it should like definitely fit unless you are like six foot ten as you say so it should be good like definitely yeah. good don't worry too much about inseam length we got you covered tall boys are just as comfortable as everyone else there so yes take it easy with the inseam length so anyway that brings us on to the final section of the day i'm gonna do a quick terry's pick of the day a big thank you to everyone who drops a comment there when they place an order we always read it we always laugh over the funny ones Vinny reads them justin reads them yeah those uh those boys read them all the time we especially like the funny ones and keep them coming you know we keep them coming we love the funny ones we we'll always try to like maybe write you a comment give you a couple of extra stickers in the pack a little picture and the really special orders with the special trivia questions we'll give a little prize to especially today i'm going to talk about ben from ontario ben yeah. you got the answer right there so we're going to talk about last week's question which was what was giorno giovanna's dream so a lot of you got the dream answer right it's going to be ben ben's got a nice little story to back it up here so he's going to say ben says that giorno giovanna's dream was wanting 10 billion lire to make <laughs> book i can't pronounce this buti a capo move their way up the ranks becoming a gang star gang star and defeat the boss of passione but he says not really maybe his real dream is that whenever he gets stabbed in the back he just wants to have il Doro play in the background because giorno got stabbed in the back maybe more than once so thank you very much ben from ontario you ordered a lovely got his hands one of the lucky few to get their hands on a jean with the same name check out these journals beautiful and purple these are pretty much all gone now so uh thank you very much everyone who waited in line to grab these uh we're really sorry if you couldn't get your hands on them we have a couple left in uh naked and famous nyc so go check that out if you're still hunting um these were a super limited release we thank you for your understanding and uh we hope everyone who got one really enjoys one but for the special prize why not a fun shirt to go over fun jean we have over here i'm gonna try and pull out the package over here some dead stock pull this out over here i hope you enjoy this this is from our another collab we did a long time over here we have a street fighter shirt over here with little jacquard hadokens over here so this was back when naked famous we did a street fighter collab uh this was a ton of fun before my time but i heard it was great it was lovely easy shirt with jacquard hadokens on here so i hope very much ben from ontario i hope you love cool, this special little present we're going to throw that right into order for making our days a little bit brighter with a funny comment and for this week's word of the day thank you very much for everybody who stayed along for the whole video i have a special 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 word for you guys i gotta get my paper to remember how to read it <laughs> right here so for all you mega fans who've waited to the end of the video here is the special word of the week. Remember to put this in the order comments, not the uh, video comments down on YouTube. Try to spoil the answers for those who don't like to watch it. This is save this one for when you make an order, drop this in the comments. And the word of the week is aguti. Aguti, that's right, aguti. If you know what it is, what it does, where it comes from, where it lives. Tell us about aguti and put aguti in the comments for this word of the week. And as always, Catch us this uh, Friday. We've got the live stream Bayes and Risa at 7 p.m. Eastern. We have the release of the kimono jeans and the Sakiori kimono shirt again at 11 a.m. Eastern. And thank you very much. We will push out all these jeans. We got, look at all these jeans. We've got to get out of the store. They're all gone. They're all going. They're all going. We're going to get back to work. A big thank you to everyone out there. And that's all for now. See you next time. See you guys. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.